everybody, hey, Ashley Bottoms, Bottoms Up, Appetite for Discussion here at the second annual Pop Culture Comic Con. I'm excited to be here, uh, having a great time as always. Uh, didn't know about this show, Adam West is here today. I uh, don't know if we're going to be able to talk to him, I'm sure as hell going to try. <laughs> but uh, I love being here, I love everything Comic Con. And I enjoy these shows. I've done enough stories and I've covered enough of these things to let you know that by now. But uh, we're excited to be here. We're going to do what we can to bring you the flavor of this expo. I've got my floor plan. I've got my celebrity list in here. We're ready to rock and roll. So, hey, mm -hmm. check it out. Pop Culture Expo 2015. Let's go. Can you hear me? with Julie McCullough and, <laughs> and uh, uh, thank you very much for the interview um, we've known you my god so much work you've done you were in Growing Pains I was in Growing Pains I was on the Golden Girls the Golden Girls yep. I was on the Drew Carey show Drew Carey. I was on 90210 um, I steal their car on 90210 I was Drew Carey's hillbilly neighbor peaches um, <laughs> And I was uh, Mary, who was the pregnant teenager who moved in with the Golden Girls. I was Julie Costello, who was the nanny and Kirk Cameron's, uh, Mike Seaver's girlfriend. I was on uh, Superboy. I got to be the very first girl to Super ever kiss Boy. Superboy. Wow. Um, I did the Munsters Today. And I was the very first girl to ever kiss any yeah. monster on the Munsters Today, the newer version of it. Um, you popped this cherry. Yeah. And um, let's say I was on Revenge of the Nerds. I was Betty the Snow. Not cheerleader on you were the Betty? TV pilot. That's right. Um, so I got to be in the Revenge of the Nerds pilot, which never got released. But they finally released it. On I think it's DVD on YouTube. With the uh, oh, is I think it's on and, YouTube. And then they released it in, um, going with um, the, the release of the movies. So right. That was the only time. I've done lots of very obscure and strange TV shows. I also did Max Headroom. Um, I remember that show. I was the fantasy girl of the young guy, Chris Young, on the show. I was running down the beach frolicking in a bikini because I just do that so often. And, um, <laughs> exactly. Uh, so I've done like really strange and obscure shows. A lot of times when people don't even know that I was on. I've heard of um, half these shows. I was on Drexel's God, I'm class. aging myself. I was on Drexel's class. I played uh, Rosie, uh, the secretary who, uh, who was always like, you know, empathetic yeah. to uh, Dabney Coleman's character on the show. Um, let's see. I was on Harry and the Hendersons. I played Uma, the au pair girl who lived next door. And apparently we need to talk about Cheaper Cheated. Cheaper Cheater Chachi. Scott Bale. <laughs> Scott Bale. My first boyfriend moving out to LA when I was very young. Oh, there you go. Cheated on me all the time. So my nickname for him. And he was very cheap. Yeah. So, really? Oh, very cheap. So I, I, Sorry, I was, Scott. I, I called him very. I called him Chippy Cheater Chachi, and when he did his Scott Bayo single in '45, I did it his show, right. doing stand up, basically like throwing him under the bus for everything he did wrong when we were young. Because we were just now, young. And now Sharknado is the thing right now. Sharknado. I'm in uh, Sharknado one. I play Johnny Waves. I get eaten by a shark coming out of a tornado because it can happen. And. Could happen. Um, uh, I'm in it, you hear my voice all the way through it, and then you only see me right before I get eaten by the shark. But I am, however, in an upcoming Sharknado movie that is not out, but is coming out very, very soon. I heard you saying about it earlier. Yeah, it's a so mockumentary of some sort. It's like a documentary mockumentary. Yeah. It's funny. It's just funny. And it's about the Sharknado movie that never got released. It, became, it was shot before the very first Sharknado movie. So the... Uh, the Heart of Sharkness. The Heart of Sharkness which is a uh, documentary, mockumentary of Sharknado, uh, is due out, I believe, this late summer. Uh, it's supposed to come out after Sharknado right. 3. Interesting. And you know there was going to be a 3. Yes. They it, have to it, make it into a trilogy. It, it, it's starring, um, the, the, the documentary one is starring myself, Zach Ward, who was the bully kids for Farkas in the a Christmas Story yep. movie, and um, Rachel True, who was in The Craft, if you're a fan of The Craft. Uh, I remember she, it. So it's starting us and a, and a few other people that you may or may not know. Now, where can, we, where can we see it? Uh, I'm not sure if they're going to send it straight to um, 
uh, probably on sci fi, sci -fi or it will be released on um, Netflix first. Oh, interesting. I have Netflix. Yeah, I'll so check it out. I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure. And where can people find you if they want to know more about you and what you're doing? Um, I do stand up comedy. I'm usually on Twitter and I usually post out when I'm doing a show. I do a little bit of everything. So I do comedy, <laughs> sometimes occasional Sharknado movies. Obviously. Hey, if you're going to be in a movie, might be in Sharknado. Uh, wear Dracula rings if you're a Dracula fan. There you go. <laughs> and, uh, She's making me laugh, so she must be doing something. Sometimes don some bunny ears just to remind myself who I think I used to be. And um, that's about it. Uh, yeah. You want to sit here and sign autographs as me for a little bit? <laughs> you know, blonde. They won't I know. Could, I could do it. Yeah, you could. You have the same color eyes as me, and you got blonde hair and bangs. See? See? That was bang. perfect. Scott Bay, are you, you doing anything tonight? Yeah. Listen. All right, everybody, we have a rare treat. Uh, if you're a Jaws fan like I am, and it's 40 years old this month, we have uh, Susan Beccolini and Roger Castell, both from Jaws. Susan, as you may know, was the swimmer in the opening shot of the first film, the classic the first film. And Roger designed the poster artwork, which is still iconic and scary as hell when he has landed. Uh, gotta ask real quick, how do you come up with the artwork? I mean, it's a very simple idea, of course. But to be as scary as it is 40 years later. Wow. Actually, one of the best art in the book. That's visual. Okay. And, uh, and the art cover was somewhat like it. And then this was for the paperback. And they wanted it uh, very realistic. Absolutely. And very frightening. Very good poster. <laughs> That's always a good thing when they leave you alone. <laughs> and the, technically, if you want to think about it, your image was the first image of the shark. Yeah. Because Bruce didn't get seen until about, what, about a two-thirds of the way to the movie? Yeah, and that was painted a year before the movie. Right. So technically, you had... Your image is the first image we had right. of the shark from Jaws, right. and that's awesome. And you, of course, the first victim of the Jaws genre, if you will. Um, awesome as always. It's still the scariest opening ever. You know, two drunk people going in the water. Um, well, one doesn't come back, <laughs> and that was you. Yeah. Ouch. <laughs> that's an iconic role. I mean. Four yeah, years later, it's and kind of forty years later, and you're still yeah going to the movie to see it. It's amazing. And it's funny as people probably come up to you and say, "Don't say Susan Bacalini." They probably go, "The girl from Jaws. They got eaten first. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but it's a great. You're the, you're the one that kept me out of the water for years. Yeah, thanks for nothing. Yeah, that's what they all say. <laughs> thanks to you, I haven't been on a beach in forty years. <laughs> but you know, it's an iconic role, and that's awesome. That's so awesome. I, I gotta ask, how did you get it? Well, a gentleman that I knew in the business, a business stunt guy, he specialized in waterworks. And they called him and asked him for somebody to help with me. Okay. And he put my name in. And I went in the interview with water. Awesome. Gotta, gotta ask, were you really naked in the water? Well, I had, I had wet suit bottom and cuddles. Okay. Because I used the wet suit bottom to help keep me floating up. Right. Because when they push uh, under the right. water, Right, because that's the scary part is you're being dragged around the water and screaming the whole time. God bless you. <laughs> I can only, how many takes did they get to get that? Well, we did a lot because it was real critical. You know, if the guy pulled a little too far. Right. So we did it. You probably all pruned when you got out of the water. I was pruned. <laughs> and then the nurse, the first day, gave me a shot at 10 o'clock. I find myself in the bathtub. I said, we can't do this every day. I'm sorry. Yeah, I mean, come on. Let's go, you know. Okay, I'll call them. I'll tell them to show you. 10 o'clock. Now, your poster, is still recognized today. You're in that, you, as you can see, I'm gonna grab one real quick. It doesn't even say Jaws on it, all right? And everybody knows, we know what it is. I mean, for something like that, that's gonna be a thrill. 
especially when you had total creative control. It worked out very well. It's absolutely. And and we're the 40th anniversary of Jaws is this year. It was this month, I believe. Right. Uh, it's got to be a thrill for you guys to still be just a part of this whole roller coaster ride that's still popular. Yeah, you know, it's amazing. And I think if not for the last two horrible sequels that came out, we would probably still be seeing somewhat of some kind of sequels by now. I just hope they don't reboot it. I really don't because there's certain films that shouldn't be rebooted. Jaws is definitely one of them. It's a time, it's a time piece. It should be. It was set in the 70s. It should stay in the 70s. It was perfect, especially now. And if you, re if you recall in the movie, they, they said, you know, for a, wa a shark to be in these kind of waters is really, in the New England cold waters is unheard of. We get them every year now. Yeah, you do. It's almost like they predicted it. We get them in California too. We have our own jaws going on now. And we just had that attack in North Carolina. Go figure that out. You know, it's like, so now sharks are actually kind of adapted to the cold water. That's gotta be kind of weird. To have that kind of a, be associated with a film that kind of predicted this. <laughs> it is because it's like it was unheard of to be in these waters for a shark to be in these waters. And now here we are, and the shark is actually sharks are in the water every year. We hear about sharks every year now. And it's just really crazy. What, what's, what's the water temperature down in the I'm not sure, but I'm sure it's cold. It's warmer than up here. Oh, up here it's always freezing. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Of course, the, the Gulf Stream goes from Charleston. Yeah. Yeah, but the Pacific is just as cold as the Atlantic. Yeah, I, uh, yeah the Pacific I, never gets warm no. because we don't have that. I was shocked when I went swimming out of there. And I'm used to it. Real quick, I gotta know. Did any of you stay out of the water after you made this movie? <laughs> No, I figured you would have to prune it. No, I live on a boat. So. I live on a boat. So. There's the irony right there. <laughs> and, and I mean, like, it's got to be a thrill, like I said, to be seen 40 years later. I like the pool. Yeah. There you go. Hey, nothing with the pool. Sharks can't get in the pool. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's true. Now, if people want to know more about you, how do they find you? Is there a website we could go to? I don't have a website. So I have a website. Tell them. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's on, uh, I think it's .com. Okay, and of course, yours? I don't really have a... a just don't kiss me though, people find me. I just did a thing for uh, Inside. Inside edition. edition. And they just arrived at my boat. No call, no nothing. I'm gonna just arrived. I'm gonna crash. I'm gonna crash at the boat. So I'm gonna find you. you so go. crash at the boat. Just don't tell her I sent you. <laughs> <laughs> I wanna thank you both. Oh, yeah, I had so much fun talking to both of you. And thank you for what's probably the scariest move I've ever seen in my life. I think that's a good thing. <laughs> Well, that is the Pop Culture Comic Con, better known as the Northeast Comic Con. We had a great time being here. I want to thank them for having us, as always. Uh, if you want to know more about what they do here, give them a shout. Their address is on the top of the screen. Tell them I sent you. They love hearing that when you tell them Ashley sent you. My show, Bottoms Up Appetite for Discussion, can be heard every Wednesday evening at 7 of 2015 at gagodenetwork.com we'd love you to tune in as always my name is Ashley Bottoms reminding you guys keep your enemies close keep Ashley closer till next time bye rings out at the station another urchin slaps and left it on his own Makes me wonder why I'm still here But such a dreams I get now Feeling like I am And I'm never gonna go
Welcome to paradise Going on, they will tow it away if you don't go moving. Gonna kill the person with the Acura. <laughs> I, will, I will find you. I have a certain set of skills. 